Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this video we will study about permeate post-treatment process in seawater membrane-based desalination. RO permeate post-treatment process requirement. What is post-treatment in seawater RO-based desalination? Why is desalinated water corrosive? What is the purpose of lime dosing in post-water treatment? Why chlorine used in post-treatment? Why carbon dioxide, CO2, dosing done in post-treatment? Post-treatment necessary to achieve desired product quality. Permeate water from RO unit stored in permeate tank, and it is distributed with help of permeate pumps to distribution network. The following dosing done from lime system, chlorination system, and carbon dioxide. Product water quality maintained within limit after post treatment process. What is post-treatment in seawater RO-based desalination? Post-treatment processes typically include stabilization, disinfection and corrosion control. Post-treatment of permeate is required to meet the statutory product water quality requirements. The permeate from an RO plant is normally of very high quality since almost all potentially harmful substances such as microorganisms and organic compounds are rejected by the membrane. Why is desalinated water is corrosive? Desalinated water is very pure water, which is almost completely devoid of any dissolved salts or microorganisms. In addition, this desalinated water is corrosive because of its low pH and the absence of the absorption potential of carbon-based molecules that are usually found in natural water. Chlorine system disinfection chlorine-based disinfection, i.e. chlorination, are used in post-treatment Chlorine kills the microorganisms by immobilizing their metabolism rendering them harmless. Chlorine is a slow stable reaction thus its main advantage of chlorine is the formation of residuals which remain in the water for longer periods of time protecting the system from bacterial contamination. Key properties of chlorine with relevance to drinking water disinfection include the following. Chlorine is corrosive and very chemically reactive which damaging material such as pipes lined and fitting it also can cause severe irritation and chemical burns to human tissues. Chlorine liquid is volatile when exposed to air. The chlorine may be lost from the water phase and go into the air. Chlorine has a characteristic taste and odor. WHO recommends that a minimum residual chlorine concentration of 0.2 mg per liter is maintained to the point of consumer delivery. WHO recommends that chlorine levels in drinking water should not exceed 5 mg per liter. Residual chlorine, also referred to as free chlorine, is an effective disinfectant. The residual chlorine concentration is one of the most important water quality parameters. Disinfection chlorine-based disinfection, i.e. chlorination, are dosed in the post-treatment. Chlorine kills the microorganisms by immobilizing their metabolism rendering them harmless. 
Chlorine is a slow stable reaction thus its main advantage of chlorine is the formation of residuals which remain in the water for longer periods of time protecting the system from bacterial contamination. Lime system, lime milk required for pH control of the product water. The precise lime dose, together with the CO2 dose, will be estimated by the laboratory to control the pH and the LSI of the product water. Remineralization slash stabilization requirement for stabilization water produced by a reverse osmosis process. Water shall be stabilized by the addition of carbon dioxide in lime, calcium hydroxide. Dot. The calcium is dosed via lime water, which is using a clarifier in reverse osmosis permeate. Lime Milk Dosing Station The lime milk is prepared in the lime dosing station, which consists mainly of the following equipment, bag device with mixer, an exhaust fan, flexible screw feeder with level switch, horizontal screw feeder to divert the lime powder to the tank, two dosing pumps, with 100% capacity each, it is required to flush regularly the dosing lines upstream and downstream of the pumps. Carbon dioxide, CO2, dosing, carbon dioxide gas is added to the water. It reacts with the dosed lime to form calcium bicarbonate, which buffers the water and increases the resistance to changes in pH and thus reduces the corrosively of the water. Product water quality after post-treatment process. The free chlorine maintained in the range of 0.2 mg per liter to 0.5 mg per liter. Residual chlorine, also referred to as free chlorine, is an effective disinfectant. Minimum residual chlorine concentration of 0.2 mg per liter must be maintained. In the drinking water supply system right through to the very end of the distribution network, increasing the dose at the RO plant may help to ensure that an adequate chlorine residual concentration in the distribution. Thank you for watching this video.